<laughs> hey, we're going to saddle up for a wild ride as the uh, Hillsborough County Rodeo and Family Festival kicks off its boots and swings into high gear. I know. Like, good at the lasso. <laughs> we got to teach, teach uh, Cowboy Nick. What are we calling him? Jersey Cowboy? Jersey, the Jersey Cowboy. The Jersey Cowboy out there for <laughs> us this morning to get us in gear for all of the fun. Nick, so far the camels really uh, stole the show for us. Yeah, you know, it, it's really hard to top camels, Caitlin, <laughs> Jameson. Like, you don't see that anywhere else. You know, and for this Jersey Cowboy, it's an experience like no other. But we're going to try to give you a little bit of more of what's going on at the rodeo because there's a lot of different things that people can enjoy. Even for, you know, a Jersey Cowboy by myself, I don't have a cowboy hat. I don't have a lasso. I don't have any of those things. But I do have a guy over here, Ryan Hennig, who could give us a little bit more information about what's going on. You gave us the camels. We got to meet Olaf, Sparkles, Goaty. Now let's just tell us a few more things that people can expect over here at the fair. Well, we are here in the Family Festival area. Gates open at 5 p.m. this early, so arrive early. Lots to do, lots to see. Delicious food, games, activities, live music, and of course, Tatco, our axe throwing trailer. Now, I've, you've got some pretty good experience doing this, huh? <laughs> uh, what makes you think that? The, the, the mobster out of New Jersey. You're throwing axes all the time, aren't you? You've hit a couple bullseyes. You've been practicing already. I, you know what? I have hit a couple bullseyes, but you know what? Axes, I don't think, are a thing. You know, a lot of piano <laughs> wire is more the... Uh, the old mafia yeah. style thing. But you know what? That's one of the cool things about this. There's a lot of different things to for people to do. There's a lot of different food options for people to have. You know, enough to make you, you know, taste buds, maybe do a little square dance. Yeah, that's right. right. The gates again open at 5 p.m. Arrive early, buy your tickets online in advance, and come to the family festival and test your throws. You know what? I want you to test your throws. You know what? Oh, We're going to stand over here in the axe throws. I want Ryan to test his throws over here. I want to see I want to see what he's got. I want to see what Ryan's got because this is just one of the activities. He's going to give him a little bit of a tutorial, but people who are coming over here can get the experience. Look at this. Oh, say you didn't make it, but you know what? I mean, I didn't want to make him look bad, but you know what? That's what it's about. You know, you got to get the axe. You got to hold the axe. They're right here at the bottom, right? Got to look it on, and then you got to throw. Oh, okay. Oh. It obviously it would have been one. a bullseye, but Nick. We it tried. Hit, it was it close. It was close. It was close. It was good. You sure you haven't done this before? It was, it was close. It was close. <laughs> now, I have not done it before, but you know what? This is one of, the, one of the experiences you can enjoy over here. It all kicks off at 5 o'clock. Axe throwing is not my forte. Mm. I guess maybe neither the is piano last wire. I heard <laughs> that, you know what? I, Everybody I don't know. Is he the Jersey Cowboy or the mob? Assassin. I don't know what we should title you this morning. I'll tell you. Boy, if you go out to that this weekend, you're going to be doing a lot of things you probably have never done before. It looks like a lot of fun there. Well, looks like a good, yeah, from camels to axe throw. Un unbelievable. Sparkle, a little, a little sequined cowboy out there. And the fair food, of course. Next on Bright.